anywhere. Even when he was endorsing him allegedly, mm -hmm. he did not uh, speak at any particular point. And as we can see, he's walking in. Yes. Um, and it is interesting that he is walking in, and just to shift back there, he's walking in and he's not going to cast any ballot. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I find this issue, very, yeah. honestly, I still find this very laughable. Um, as a young person who thinks that, you know, politics should generally be a way of life it should not be an opportunity for us as young people to find a way out in terms of oh i make money because now i'm joining politics to be honest um if you find a young person who ideally should have been concerned about the state of the nation in this country even if not from a political point of view but let's talk about from a talent point of view this is a young person who had an opportunity to shape policy around sports to shape uh, you know even even Kibra itself with with sporting initiatives and suddenly realizes oh there was that opportunity i could have taken advantage of yes. back to why this is important again for me i think uh, it is a test of the handshake as i have spoken about second it is also but Kibra has a huge potential for transformation. Mm. It is one of those places that you can literally walk. There are so many problems in Kibra. You can literally walk into Kibra, have an opportunity to just do one or even two things or one and a half, one and a half things. Mm. And you literally gain national relevance. Look at what um, uh, uh, Ken Okoth, may his soul rest in peace, did. He just basically picked education. And as a result of that, he became a global leader, if, if we can say that, because his efforts were now being appreciated way beyond Kenya. It is one of the places that one can easily get political mileage from. And we are seeing Ruto trying to access the place. And that is why it is a big deal and it's different. But for me, and, and I appreciate the fact that we are all a youthful panel right here. Yes. For me, the other interesting part that I'm, I'm looking at in these elections is the fact that we are having young people turning up. And, uh, as as you were talking there, there yes. was uh, the pictures of selfies being taken, yes. uh, as uh, the you know votes are being taken as well. At yes. least the exercise. I mean, what what does it say to you? We shouldn't let that moment pass that we just <laughs> witnessed. <laughs> yes, that says a lot about Mariga, mm -hmm. that he's not in this to impact the people. He's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's taking selfies. I missed. Yes, yes that's as you were talking. Yes, uh, that's actually why I was interjecting. Yeah, yes. So let's ask ourselves, what are our leaders supposed to do for the people? As an MP, you're supposed to represent, to legislate, to oversight. Mm -hmm. Clearly, this guy showing up at a polling station where he shouldn't be, because at a polling station on polling day, you're either a voter, an observer, an elections official, or an agent. What exactly is he doing there? Mm -hmm. They say, uh, of course, Taking they selfies. say they're monitoring the exercise. The yeah, they're saying they're monitoring the exercise. Yeah. I also want us to be fair to Mariga, yeah, because as a candidate, you have run before, mm. and I have run before. I'm also allowed uh, to actually access any polling station yeah. in an election in which I'm participating. So he's there. By the way, what else do you want Mariga to do? other than to show up at a polling station and take selfies. He's not voting for heaven's sake. Yeah. This yes. is where we get it from. <laughs> he doesn't, he's not voting. Yeah, look at it yeah. properly. Yeah. We have roles, and that's the one thing that Kenyans never want to accept, that as a citizen in a republic, I have duties. We apportion to ourselves duties that are not ours. You've seen the party leader for ANC show up there. Was he Owalo's bodyguard? He's an agent. Why exactly is he there? He's there so that his presence can influence those who have not cast their votes not to show up and way. vote in a certain way. How big an influence? Of course, we've, we've heard of those. Who, <laughs> we've heard of those who've come with money to uh, I, at least I, the I accusations just, and allegations. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like that's a very skewed way of looking at it because remember even forget about the politicians who are present right there there are members of civil society organizations that are going to observe yeah. at the end of the day when things go wrong we as kenyans will be the ones saying oh what happened why did ibc part of being there is being vigilant looking at how is the process going on in fact myself i am not a candidate neither am i an agent of a political party neither am i going there represent any you know anybody's interest i'm going to kibra after this because i want to understand what is happening on the ground but even if i am not yeah. being told yeah. to stay away from the polling station that's how the pollution in this space in kenya happens right. you have no job there but you want to be there now about one being a candidate when you're a candidate it's expected that you're going to vote it's in kibra that there's a bit of uniqueness that a candidate is not a vote Yes. in Kibra. Yes. But before, the way that it should be is you show up because you have a job to do. If you have nothing to do in the polling center or polling station, do not show up. Yeah. But